Chapter 3 of Exodus marks a turning point in the narrative as it introduces the concept of divine intervention in human affairs. Moses, now living in Midian and tending to his father-in-law's flock, witnesses a miraculous sight, a bush engulfed in flames but not consumed. Curious, he approaches the phenomenon, only to hear God's voice instructing him to remove his sandals because he is on holy ground. This chapter serves as Moses' call to leadership. God identifies himself as the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and reveals his plan to rescue the Israelites from Egyptian oppression and lead them to a land flowing with milk and honey. God appoints Moses as the one to confront Pharaoh. Moses is hesitant, questioning his ability and worthiness to take on such a significant task. God reassures him by promising his unending support and introducing his name, Yahweh, to Moses. This name signifies God's eternal nature and his commitment to his covenant promises. Despite this reassurance, Moses continues to express doubt about his credibility before the Israelites and questions how they would believe that he has indeed been sent by God. To this, God gives Moses two miraculous signs, the transformation of a rod into a snake and back, and the turning of his hand leprous before restoring it. God tells Moses that these signs will serve as evidence of divine backing. Chapter 3 serves as a foundational narrative, not just for the book of Exodus, but for the entire story of Israel and the monotheistic faiths that would follow. It's in this chapter that God reveals his personal name, Yahweh, symbolizing his eternal existence and intimate relationship with his people. Through this divine encounter, Moses receives his commission to lead the Israelites out of Egypt, thereby initiating God's plan for liberation. 